Hey, this is Too Fast here, and in this video I will show you this Logitech K400 wireless touch keyboard that I picked up. And it's a very compact keyboard, and the reason they made it uh, very compact is because some people uh, that have a, a laptop or a PC connected to their TV, they can actually sit at a distance and control that PC. Uh, they can surf the web, uh, type whatever they need to, say on Facebook, uh, put a message uh, on a website. Uh, this gives you all the control uh, from a distance. And the dimension of this keyboard is, the length of this is 14 inches, the depth is 5.5 inches, and let me show you the, uh, the back side here. There's an on-off switch on the right side, battery compartment here, and the front looks like that. It's very compact, very lightweight. And the reason I bought this is not for a home entertainment system, but instead I'm going to replace an older Logitech keyboard I have, and I'll show you that in a sec, uh, to free up some desk space. I think uh, this is going to be a good uh, replacement. Now, uh, this keyboard comes with a very compact transceiver, this little black device here, and I just have this hooked up to a USB extension cable, but the, the transceiver itself is just this piece here, okay? And it also comes with a signal booster USB plug. I've not had to use this yet, but uh, it comes with the uh, keyboard itself. Now let me go over some of the shortcut buttons that have designed into this keyboard, which I find very um, helpful and handy to use. They have a power PC button here that will put the PC to sleep and next to that they have a lock PC button and what that will do is that will allow you to lock the PC uh, the home is to go back to uh, home page and this is to open up the media player that's why you have the music symbol here and also there's a couple of other shortcuts up top here you have the volume up down muting uh, track forward reverse play, pause. You can also uh, press uh, the desktop button to bring up your desktop. And of course your layout is your regular keyboard layout. Uh, with a function button you do have some other uh, functions like page up, page down. On the touchpad you have your left mouse button and your right mouse button. And if you want to left mouse select something, basically you just tap it and that will select it. There are some gestures built into this touchpad which is very handy. For example, if you are to hold both fingers on the touchpad and you just pull it down or push it up, that will respond as a scrolling. So you can scroll down a page, scroll up a page. And also, if you are to tap the uh, touchpad with two fingers, that will open up your right mouse button uh, menu. Uh, so it reacts the same as pressing the right mouse button. So here's the older one. Of course it has a lot more function, it has a num uh, number pad, uh, more shortcut buttons, but as comparison here is the new one. Much more compact. Also as another comparison I have a Lenovo W520 laptop and just to give you a comparison of the dimension of this keyboard compared to a laptop keyboard. So if you look at the keys from left to right, it's a little bit more even compact than what I have on this uh, laptop here. And I find it very easy to use. It's not, it's not difficult at all. So if I was to have my fingers placed on this keyboard, uh, I just want to give you an idea what it looks like. Uh, I don't find the keys uh, cramped or hard to use. Uh, the amount of pressure you need to press each key is um, is perfect and there's no lag, uh, very responsive. So I just want to show you guys this Logitech K400 touch keyboard and if you have any questions uh, leave me a comment and if you like the review uh, please subscribe. Thank you.